Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to dress cable down out of the wall and out of the ceiling straight down and notice how everything should be very tight together. All the tie wraps are the equal distance apart, pretty close. And what you do is you dress it in. This is the patch panel for a wall mount that wall mounts onto here. The tie wrap is to help hold the weight temporarily. This is a 48 port patch panel. And the idea is to dress it out as smooth as possible and then just start curling in the wires one by one to the right distance and they tie wrap along this, this bar that will be centered and you tie wrap to it. If you don't have one of these uh, bracket bars to hold and tie wrap to, then it makes it a little more difficult, but you can always take the cables out of here, tie wrap every two, uh, cables that go in and it'll hold it pretty firm pretty firm along here as if there was a bar but sometimes uh, the, the patch panels don't always have this type of bar but alright so everything gets dressed along and terminated in close you'll see the stripping back is just about a quarter of an inch off of the patch panel and I am going to now show you oh the uh, when you dress the cables in and along like this you can see how they're cut short just to, so that they're easier to handle. You cut the length that you need to finish the job. And okay, the ground wire, let's take a look at that. There's a ground bar installed by the electricians. And you can drill a hole into the side of the, uh, the what do you want to call this, the mount. And then there's this little ground lug. You can screw it in. If you drill a hole and then you put a screw through it with this ground lug and then you put a number six ground. Number six thickness, that's the code. And that ground is what's coming from the electricians from wherever they bring it in. And then of course you've got to have a, a stub out um, sleeve to feed the cables down. And then the rest of the equipment will go on the backboard. And that's it for now. And I'm going to show you how to dress cut and terminate the trick that I use. The tricks, the steps, the techniques, whatever. Everybody's got different ones, but this one is the uh, one I use, so it works. All right, so hold her steady and get a look at it. Okay, so here's what we're doing. You pull these out and we want to dress them all in neat. So you take the one on the inside always, closest to it first. You don't want to overlap and do this. So then you want to measure back. Oh, we're going to go in on top here, so let's go right to here. So you get your measure. There's my thumb mark. This is where I'm going to do a little crease and pull it apart for a second. Shorten it up. It's easier to work with. Pull that off. And you got your string. Get rid of that. Of course I got to put my glasses on now. How you doing? Alright. So now what you do here is make your life easy. Do a little unspinning because this Cat 5e and Cat 6 stuff it gets tightly twisted, so it's hard to strip over. But if you just unspin each wire, it makes your life easy. You'll see in a minute because your fingers got to work in a tight area. Okay, so now got to go into here. All the labeling is always there: white, blue, white, orange, white, green, white, brown. So we're just going to go in. And take the white blue, and you gotta make sure you get the white blue first, and then the blue white, because that's what the drawing says it needs. Press it in, and get the white green out of the way if that's what's next in your fingers. Come back to the white orange, like that, and the last one's white brown. I'm gonna push that in. Okay, we terminate. Make sure your sharp side's up. You're gonna, it's the cutting side. Just hold it firm. Sometimes the cutter doesn't go perfect, you just spin it like that. And then one more I'll show. I'm gonna go in, put your thumb where you want the cut line. Don't cut into the wire, you just do a crease and then pull it. And then move my cutters to there. Pull that off, get rid of that string because it's gonna be annoying. Oh, looks like I got rid of it already. You spin it loose so it's easy to spin over the 
separate over top of the connection point. And you notice I'm pushing out like that as you go, as you're unspinning. And one more. Like that. Okay. Now, going in with the blue again. White blue. You know, this is about a quarter of an inch between the end of the sheath and where we want to insert the wire. And you don't want to reverse pair. Let's straighten that out there. Got that down there. Okay. One more here. And that's how you do it. Cutting edge up. Nice firm contact. And all the wires can then be dressed along and in and then another tie wrap later. And so when you're done, what we do is we take this off and then we'll just close the door so that come on over here and take a look. Because once I take that off, I'll be able to close the door and screw it tight and everything will be dressed down nice and neat. So we're all set. And that's the end of that. Terminating a wall mount patch panel. 48 port, 24 port. Bye bye